जय हिंद एस एस बी एस्पिरेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू डेवलप योर सोशल क्वेश्चन सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स नाउ अड एज पीपल आर वेरी मच अवेयर अबाउट द फिफ्टीन ओवर क्यूज विच दे आर टेस्टिंग इन योर एस एस बी इंटरव्यू बट नाउ लेट मी मेक यू अवेयर अबाउट द थिंग विच इज हिडन स्टिल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज सोशल क्वेश्चन सो वॉट हैपन वॉट इज द थिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड वॉट इज एक्चुअली सोशल क्वेश्चन एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल अबाउट इट so now i have decided to start this video with a quote quotations which says man is a social animal animal so hum sab ye bolte hain that man is a social animal and it is been said by a very great philosopher now i will try to justify this particular quotations in my whole this video and let us know if i am able to convey the same or not let us know that whether you were able to find out or exactly understand that what is social quotient the first thing is social quotient is the one thing which test your adoptability adoptability in the group so basically if i say that man is a social animal that means i am the person who is the part of this social animal thing and society matters now everything in society does not matter but there are few things which comes as a part of conduct which comes as a part of their regulations rules and living that is really important so basically social quotient is the one thing which is being checked in your group checked by your group testing officer and in your group task gto task it is being checked precisely and perfectly i am going to give you few tips that how you can develop your social quotient and that's your duty to follow all these things to not be the one who is socially awkward awkward or socially weird because the only thing which matters more in the gto task is social question so if you have social adaptability definitely you would be a good team player because in forge in arm forces there are subordinates to whom you have to lead there are subordinates to whom you have to command and you have to live with them you have to Uh, manage the whole scenario in case of disputes in case of happiness in case of anger so there are, there will be a various kind of situation faced by you in your particular uh, uh, schedule of duty but again if you are not able to handle the men properly this factor this social quotient quality will come into question so now let us give you few tips that how you can improve your social quotient the first thing is be an extrovert so basically being an extrovert in gto is very important because if you are not able to communicate to your teammates what you want your extrovertism is definitely going to play an important role in telling your teammates that this is something you want and this is something you command so definitely you have to become an extrovert for a while in group testing officers test now the next advice would be be lively in adverse situation basically what happens we become such person or we have a habit of thing that while we are happy that happiness could be seen from our face and that would be extremely visible for our by from our uh, body language but this should not this is not the ideal thing which we are seeking for you have to be the neutral person with your expressions so it is not like Uh, to become neutral you avoid enjoying the moment instead you should be more more lively in the adverse situation in case you are not able to solve something you shouldn't be demotivated or you shouldn't be tensed instead you should be more cheerful because that is going to lighten up the mood of you as well as your subordinates so definitely if you want to prove that you are socially adaptable and you are good in social quotient like everybody has a intelligence iq intelligence quotient eq emotional quotient likewise we have social quotient as well so if you want to prove them if you want to prove your gto that you are very good in this particular checking criteria you have to be the live, lively person or you you can't afford to lose your liveliness at the time of adverse situation which is being thrown or which you face in your particular task now let's come for the next thing which is give respect take respect this is one thing which is very mutual and which is very universal nowadays it is been more uh, promoted since we have we had little bit of res uh, research over this particular thing so now we are trying to uh, make everybody know that 
respect is not only about giving but it's all it is also about taking and earning and you will only uh, get respect if you do respect of some other people as well so you can't be the person who do not respect others but you want everybody to respect you it, it can't go like this as i said in the beginning it's very mutual so you have to be the person who take respect as well as give respect to everybody be that the any person in your team or your sir or your gt officer or ground man now the next thing is that uh, have good written and oral expression so basically gto is a task of both the things it's oral as well as written there are few tasks in which you have to write and there are few tasks in which you have to speak you have to be very good with your expressions because the more good you are with your expressions the better you tell your teammates what you want to say there so please always color and decorate your expressions with the good words yet simple because the more complications you bring in your words it would be difficult to understand by your subordinates or your teammates now the next thing is that have a good sense of humor basically this is the habit which should be always adopted by everyone and you might see in your ssb the for this is for the people who are repeater you might see in your ssb that there are sometimes in tough situations gto is the one person who cracks joke or who uh, bring the humor in the environment at the time of difficult situations so you have to become like that you can't be the person who is you know increasing the level of difficulty or increasing the level of an anxiety pressure and a dilemma in the environment to your subordinates or your teammates in fact you should be the person who is lighting up the or uh, cheering the people to motivate them and to do better because pressure never helps you to do uh, never helps you to perform better in any of the worst situations so please always carry your good sense of humor along with you now the less, ne next thing is be acceptable as re leader you always have to be acceptable as a le leader you can't be the person who is always picking holes in your team subordinates because you are the one who has been uh, given a opportunity as well as responsibility to tackle all the subordinates under you so you have to choose that thing wisely likewise when you play some card definitely you have the cards in your hands and you have to use it in the chances you get for playing a game that wiseness should come here as well so please know when to use what to use and how to use if you don't know this definitely you can't become a good leader and leadership is the one thing which is more about people than about personality okay so this was my video to tell you that how to develop the social quotient in your personality which is a hidden trait but yet very important trait and you might find it in the form of olqs several olqs which is being given for testing you as a personality of a leader so this was my video were telling you what is social quotient i hope you have liked my video please share and subscribe it and uh, till the time everybody jai hind